Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name's Emma and if you're not already, you should definitely subscribe down below. So today I thought I would film a sit down video to kind of change it up. I don't want to keep posting just vlogs every week because I feel like that's not that interesting. My life is not that interesting. Okay, so with finals coming up, I thought that I would do a little video about tips for finals week. Today is currently Sunday, November 15th. My finals start on this Friday, the 20th and then go until Wednesday the 25th. I know a lot of people have their finals after Thanksgiving online, but I'm actually taking mine here because we went back two weeks earlier than we normally would have, but I'm really glad because I feel like for me, it would have been harder to take them online after Thanksgiving. So this video is going up a week from tomorrow. So by the time you're watching this, I will have just finished my finals. I made a little list of tips. So I have 12 tips for finals week that I hope will be handy for you guys and help you not be super stressed, even though I feel like there's no way to avoid that, but. Okay, so tip number one is to create a to-do list. This is something I like to do just every day normally because personally, I really love crossing things off my to-do list. It's so satisfying to me and it's really helpful to know what stuff you actually have to get done. And you can create multiple, maybe like one for a day and then one for what you have to get done by the week. It's really good to also split stuff up so you don't have a big task such as study for chemistry. Maybe you split it up on Monday, you're gonna study chapters one and two, Tuesday, you're gonna study chapters three and four, etc. so that it's not just this huge like looming task. But I think creating a to-do list is really helpful because it'll help you stay on track and not feel so overwhelmed with all the things you have to do. Tip number two is to find a good study space. So this could be at your desk, maybe in your dorm lounge. I know that dorms here have like lounges that have couches and stuff and tables. It could be the library, it could be the dining hall, it could be whatever you feel would work the best for you. And maybe it would help if you study some at your desk and then get a change of scenery in the library or something so you're not just in the same place every time. Um, it's really just up to your personal preference, but I think that studying at your bed is probably not the best idea but I mean if you want to do that you do you <laughs> but I feel like you'll be able to focus a lot more when you have something in front of you like a table or a desk or something so tip number three is to take breaks I know that this can be hard for some people if they're trying to just get through something and they want to just get it done and over with but when you're studying it's really good to take breaks not even just for your mental health but also just for your sanity I guess and for your vision you shouldn't be staring at a screen for longer than 20 minutes at a time so I think a good tip is to study for 25 minutes straight and then take a five minute break and this could be a five minute break on your phone a five minute break just sitting there doing nothing to kind of relax yourself so tip number four is don't forget to eat meals meals are really important for your brain and fueling your body and also just for for your sanity. I know that if you're doing a task and you're really focused on it, sometimes you can forget that you're hungry or forget that maybe you didn't eat breakfast or lunch, but you should really be eating. I think it's every three hours. So like breakfast, lunch, maybe a snack and then dinner. You really need to fuel your body first and make sure that you feel good. Tip number five is to reward yourself. This could be by taking a break or when you're studying, maybe you study two chapters and you get a five minute phone break afterwards. Really anything you can motivate yourself with food, with a nap, with your phone, anything that works for you. It just really helps if you have some sort of motivation to get stuff done rather than just studying to study. And it would also probably help you get things done faster if you have some sort of light at the end of the tunnel. Tip number six is definitely to focus on your mental health. And this could mean doing some meditation, doing some yoga, maybe working out or going for a walk, spending time with friends, really anything that will help you kind of reset and just keep your mind focus on studying. Tip number seven is to make sure you're getting enough sleep. I think you're supposed to get 
eight hours of sleep every night. I try to get more than that just because I get tired really easily and I know that I love to sleep. So I try to get about like nine hours. I know it's hard to get enough sleep during finals week and prep for finals week. If you're trying to study and cram everything in, you might want to stay up until 2 a.m. and be studying. But then if you have to wake up at 8 a.m. for a class, you know, that's only six hours of sleep and you're not going to be able to focus the next day. Tip number eight, eight is to find a good playlist to study to. I know that some people need complete silence when they study. I'm personally not one of those people. I actually think it's better for me to listen to music. I can't do stuff with complete silence. So I think it's good to find a good playlist, find what works for you and just have that as a little like background noise. Tip number nine is to study with friends or maybe a study group from your class. For some people, this might not work as well. If you prefer studying alone, that's completely fine, but you could even go with your friends. Maybe you all go to the library. It can be good to have other people around and you don't feel as lonely because you have other human interaction. Tip number 10 is if you have them, review old tests and quizzes because a lot of teachers kind of reuse the same format or maybe some of the same questions if it's a cumulative final exam. So at least knowing the format or the types of questions that they ask can be really helpful. Tip number 11 is when you're studying a concept, a good strategy, I guess, to see if you know it well is are you able to explain that concept to someone else who doesn't know it at all? And would they be able to understand it with you explaining it? So, for example, maybe you're talking about... I don't think of anything. Maybe you're talking about... Okay, I'll use an example from my philosophy class because apparently that's all I can think of right now. But maybe you're talking about Plato's forms and... Is that your kind And my final tip, tip number 12, is definitely go to office hours or go see your professor or TA or lab GA or whatever if you have a question. I don't know how many professors have office hours like right in the week leading up to finals, especially if you don't have a lot of classes. I don't know, it depends on the professor, but if you have a question, now is time to go. Don't wait until like the day before the final. Definitely earlier is better. If you have them in class, you could ask it in class if you have time or go to their office hours. It's definitely better, especially if they see you trying to reach out and make an effort, then they might be a little nicer when grading your test. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some tips for your finals and I hope everyone does really well in their finals. I'm sending good vibes. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!